Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Finally, with the plans for my temperature project for next year. Now y'all might know, I just started crocheting this year, in 2021, in late January, early February, and I had no idea what this whole temperature project thing was. So once I learned about it, I thought, yeah, I think I'd like to do that next year, once I get a little bit more crochet under my belt. And y'all know, I've been crocheting all kinds of stuff, so, I uh, finally have plans for it. See this? Crojo Corner has cool project planners and I used it to, use part of it anyway, to plan out my temperature project. You cannot see all the little letters, that's okay. Um, this is me figuring up how many rows and how many squares and all of that because I am doing squares. You see that cute little square? That's my little sample of how I'm going to be doing it. But just to let you know, um, I will have 19 squares across and 20 down. And each of these little squares are going to be joined uh, in white. So it'll add a little bit to the width. Okay, isn't that cute? Okay. If you are going to do a temperature project, for one thing, don't throw your square on the floor. Ah, there we go. Um, you need to decide what your color scheme is going to be. You need to decide how you're going to break up those temperatures. And you need to decide kind of what format you want it. A lot of people do different rows, like a, a week, a row. I knew I didn't want to do something that time consuming. I'm not a fast crocheter. But every day, I can do a square right it's not that big it's literally two rounds so i figure i can do a square and do a join every single day the way i have this figured out because 365 days in a year does not equal anything even so i'm doing that i'm going to have one square that i'm going to put some kind of top stitching on it that says 2022 i'm going to have a square for each month to separate it um, with either like just an abbreviation for the month probably because I don't think I can write out January in that little square and I'm gonna have a couple of random squares that have like flowers or something in them also you see this aha I got this cute little notebook at Dollar Tree at some point things I can't say during a video call I'm on video calls all the time so I thought that was funny but it's just a blank notebook in between what I have done here at the back is write out my, you see my color scheme there? Isn't that gonna be pretty? Is write out the temperatures in the ranges that I have them in and put them next to a little sample of the yarn that I'm going to use for it. Um, where I am, I'm in Northeast Georgia. We don't get terribly cold. We get hot, but not, we don't stay hot up here. So the temperature breakdown that I have is, I'll read you the Fahrenheit because most of the Americans know about Fahrenheit, um, less than 27 degrees, okay, 28 to 36, 37 to 45, 46 to 54, 55 to 63, 64 to 72, 77, excuse me, 73 to 81, not 77, because I can't read my own handwriting, 82 to 90, and anything above 91 degrees. I have also written next to it the ranges in Celsius. Why? Because I want to get more comfortable with temperatures in Celsius. Oh, 